Oh, my lord. Gamers. I gotta make sure that my stream is okay. Super quick. All right. All right, baby. Starting a little earlier today. Earlier than usual. Um. Last time, we have no food. Why do we have no food? Shit. Um, well, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't get fucked by mufflos. But, is what it is. We're super close to finally researching geothermal. Um, and we have a couple of the prototypes. Which I've got to say, that like that's such a fucking fantastic addition. Because when you're finally fully done with it, you get like the full power out of it and uh, some of the other like benefits, I think. But uh yep, there we there we go. I I'll be totally honest with you, I don't think I've ever had that much problem with uh with mufflos. Wait, what is this? Smoke leaf? You... <clears throat> Where's the smoke leaf? Why the fuck would you get high, dude? Ah, oh, shit. Oh my fucking god, dude. Well, that solves the food the, the the food problem. I'm just hoping cuz he kind of got his shit rocks. Jensen's fine. Lou is fine besides missing a lung. So just hunt the rest, I suppose. Great, my whole plan. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Let's go. We still have Mufflo, not every single thing on the fucking planet aggroed. That's great. Um. I am a little sad that I've kind of ruined my uh, learn new thing. But with all this muffalo meat, I think we should be good for a little while at least.
Everybody who's injured has been already tended to. So, I think we're okay. I think one of the uh, the big things that we really need to focus on now is uh, really... I mean, one, getting this fucking geothermal power source done, but two, then starting to go into... Uh, we'll do gun turrets first, because I think trenches do actually take a little bit longer to research. It's 700 points. And then uh, this way, with the two geothermals, I mean, we will have enough power to do everything. I think after that, though, we're just going to have to start making and stockpiling barrels. Um, I've also been thinking about just moving all of these uh, shelves and making this into the stockpile room. Because we don't need that much space, and we could just build additional shelves. And I really don't see the point of why I'm having my colonists go all the way up there rather than just having everything consolidated. So, I think we'll just go ahead and do that now. So let's set the order. We will mine here. Do this. That. And that. Major break risk. Marco. Divorced by Lu Yeah, he's going to be upset about that for a while. 27 days. Oh my god. Oh, he... What? Slept in the... Slept in the cold. What? Oh. Yeah. I also really wish if you had a weapon equipped on a character. That they would just go and retrieve the weapon that they originally had if it's still available. And could you quickly haul this pistol? Fantastic. Now. Let's haul. Build copy. Build a wall lamp. And then smooth out everything. Smooth out these two, because why the hell not? Damn, we might actually just need to, uh, expand this. And their settings are still saved, which is good.
Do we make everything? How about, hold on, how much marble do we? I was about to fucking freak out. I was like, where the fuck did all my shit go? Okay, we have 750. We have 1,500 marble blocks. Okay. What did I do? Um, to be honest, if that is the case, it might be worth just making this into a huge block. Just going boom, boom. Making the storeroom that big. So much fucking food, dude. Genetic supplier. Okay, where? T-shirt. Actually, what is your clothing like? You need some new pants and a new shirt. Might as well do that. Got some cloth. A rec room is quite good. It's quite nice. On the floor is still recovering. Thank God he did not die. We got a little comms thing up. Um, let's have Lou talk to... Where is Lernu? Let's give them a call. Let's invite them back to visit. Stuff like that. Just so that uh, we can kind of make amends for what happened. I mean, we did... Already on their way. Never mind. Um, We did kind of fuck them. With that muffalo thing. Which... I, I swear to God, I've, like, hunted Muffalo so many times in this game, and I think now, more than any other, that 10% has actually gone off. And I wish I knew why. Uh, what about Marco? Can you just... All this shit. There we go. I need to... Okay, get that out of there before they start storing everything. The only nice thing about rice is the fact that um, it takes forever to actually go bad if it's in its raw form. But still. Let's keep going with that. We are so close. We only need like 600 points left. And then we are good. Then we are gaming. But uh, for the most part, the base is pretty much set up. I think a lot of what I'm probably going to start doing now is just finessing and really building out. Like, just getting rid of these weird divots. Kind of making everything a bit more uniform and a bit more square. Um, like, the fridge is probably going to stay how it is. These bedrooms will stay how they are. Uh, Marco is the only problem that I currently have. Um... Because I do need to make a separate bed. Which I think I'll do here. 
make a separate bed there so that way once I do that I can add ventilation so that way his room can actually be heated so let's go ahead and do that now because this baby will not have any place to stay let's do it out of marble so what is four Is that accurate? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by five. No. No. Mine it. Let's go ahead and mine these and then. This can be where the door is. And then we'll just add ventilation. Temperature. And then we will do some flooring with more marble. Awesome. We will build a copy of the bed as well as a copy of the dresser. And I think that should be good. I think this room should be big enough. I think Marco actually has the current biggest room. Everybody else is pretty uniform, but I kind of I kind of messed this whole thing up. But there we go. So that's all good. Now that th those two are definitely ventilated, they should be fine. I'm not really too worried about that. Let's go ahead and use our wood, though, and start making this place a little bit nicer while we wait for that geothermal to get done here. Um, let's go to... Furniture? It is furniture. Let's go ahead and start uh, placing some potted plants for everybody. I think uh, really spruce up the place a little bit. Really make it look nice for everybody, you know? But there's next there. Lou. Put a potted plant into every corner. Put a couple of pollen plants there. And from there, I think we're good. I also think I'm going to square out this hydroponics room. I think I'm just going to add some more and uh, kind of build copies. I just, I, I, I don't know why I did it the way I did. And we'll go ahead and mine that out, smooth that, mine that to kind of uniform it. I think we're going to need to start doing something about these Meganoid Presences. Tony? What? Fuck. 
You're kidding. God damn it. Hold on, hold on. There we go. These grow rice. Um, okay, I'll leave these to grow rice for now. Growth moment. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Social. Let's fucking do this. Choose a tray for on the floor. Beautiful. Industrious. Ecologist. That's actually pretty cool. Um, however, if he is going to be social and we have another social person on the team, I think beautiful would probably be the best, but industrious would be really nice to have. Um, my only thing is, is that Lou really is kind of on her last legs and I feel bad about saying that, but I'm hoping that at some point we'll be able to harvest an organ and, uh, kind of help her out with that. Um, hopefully we get a group of bandits and we're able to just knock one out and harvest, you know, their fucking lungs. Like, I would love to do that. I would love to harvest uh, their left lung so I can put it into Lou and, you know, hopefully her body doesn't reject the entire fucking thing. That would be great. That would be absolutely fantastic. But we're going to keep going here. I think we're... We're pretty close. Lou, I think, has really been kind of hammering away at this intellectual thing. I mean, I love Lou because she just has so many skills. I mean, she's an expert in social. She's fantastic and intellectual, and she's a great cook, right? Like, she's a master chef. She could be on the show. Um, Hannah, however, I really need her to start, you know, tailoring at this workbench here. Like, I get it. I really do. But this needs to happen also i really wish that even if they were dead you like if they were freshly killed i wish i mean maybe that's how it is maybe that that is how it works and i just i do not understand oh fuck that doesn't work like that okay um we'll just move that over then um what was I going to say? I was thinking maybe that that is how it works, in which if they are freshly killed. Um, I'm not trusting that shit. Um, maybe if they are freshly killed, you can still utilize them for organs. 
I mean, I don't want this colony to become like an organ harvester fucking place, but at the same time, it's like, if, you know, my colonists over them, if they decide to fuck around and find out, that's, you know, that's totally their fault. Let's go ahead and build this out as well. Uh, this is actually the coldest room. Poor little Jesse. I only don't want to do this because I don't think I have the gear yet. And I think one of the really big things that I, I, I definitely like don't prioritize in any of my games is the fact of... Um, honestly, I think the fact that I don't ever, ever prioritize doing any sort of legitimate equipment upgrading because I'm so focused on making sure that the colony is le is like actually self-sufficient to the point in which I don't really need to worry about it and we have kind of hit that point but if I can't grow my fucking rice or my hay or whatever like I'm not gonna have my muffalo I'm not gonna have you know, whatever else. Like, I don't have enough food for these muffalo. I do, however, have a lot of new meat that I can grab. But once this cold snap is over, like, we are we are good. And now that we actually kind of have our hydroponics uh, completely set up, I, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to or if it's like, hey, don't build them in rows like this. You know, just build a room of hydroponics. I'm not sure. I think the only reason why I want to build them like this is really for the sake of uh, making sure that it's all NCO, neat, clean, and organized. But this production room has gotten really, really, really cramped. I mean, there's just so much shit in here, right? And luckily, it's not super, super terrible. Like, people can still get around and stuff, but it's it's getting there. It it really is. I'm kind of considering moving the styling station to just somewhere unimportant, or maybe even expanding this production room and just ripping out this entire chunk. You know, I mean, there's so much space and there's so much extra space in this mountain that we just haven't even touched. I mean, I could potentially build another bedroom here and just move this heater to somewhere else. Like, for me, it's kind of fucking crazy. Also, this is seriously going to bug me. Like... I know I haven't touched it or I haven't done anything with it, but, like, just build these fucking floors, dude. Just build them. And luckily we've gotten six marble chunks, so that way, you know, we should have a little more. Manhunter pack of what? Boom rats. They will need to be dealt with quickly. I do not want to deal with them later on. Hannah, you are good. Everybody else, let's do a little formation right there. Just for the sake of that. Holy shit. That's a one. That's not great. However, I think it's pretty minor stuff. Very minor burns. I do... Right leg destroyed? Hold on, what? Oh, you are absolutely getting a fucking... You are absolutely getting a wooden foot right now. What? Which foot? Right leg? What? Why why is there no right foot? Left hand, right hand. Install one left foot. Oh, his right leg is completely destroyed. We need to really get into prosthetics, man. I'm I'm not even kidding, bro. Fuck. P 
penicillin. Where the fuck is penicillin? And how long is that gonna... Drug production. Five hundo. Okay. I think this is what we're gonna do. So. Geothermal. Into gun turrets. Into drug production. Into penicillin. Cold snap is finally over. The outdoors is becoming nice. There's no more ice all over the fucking floor. Plants are going to start growing. Let's go. Let's go. So let's go ahead and get out of this little cold snap thing. Um, are we truly out of steel? There's no way. There's no way that we ran out of steel. I refuse to believe that. Holy shit, we might have actually ran out of steel. Oh my god. We do, however, have a smelter. We have 22 metal slags. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and start mining. Has disarmed. Wow, that's badass. Right clavicle. Just absolutely tore her shit up. Marika, would you please heal them? Thank you. Kelvin. Let's go ahead and build some copies. Fuck my life.
There we go. Reinstall that. We got a couple of gifts. Some apparel. Which is great. We are back at having low food. Dude, the amount my, colon my colonists eat is just fucking wild to me. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more hunting. Pretty easily hunt for all of these without any problems. Damaged Transporter. Cataphract. Um... That could actually be really good. So, he's an army cook. Dude, this guy fucking looks so awesome. So two of them, three of them. Oh my god, my dog is fucking wailing. Let's go. There we go, that's one dead. Pistol. Feather does joint? What the fuck? Nice. That's an insane fucking gun. Hey, yo, speaking of... Let's, uh, let's capture him. Let's, uh, let's grab him, Marco. Um, I really need a prison block. Grab his goon. What is up? Babe. What? Nothing. Better harvest this guy's organs. Yeah. Whoa. Shit in the toilet. No, I didn't. <laughs> I 
What? <laughs> what? Why would you need me to shit? I didn't. What are you talking about? There was shit in here. That was Lily. Nice. Holy shit. Ooh, two glitter roll nuts. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh... Or, hold on. Home does not matter. It's kind of just keeping an eye on people. Hold on, no, you can install feet on both. But why can't I, can I do that on Lister now because he has the peg leg? No. So what the fuck? Dude, Jensen, why the fuck? Why would you fuck this up? Marco. What's wrong with you? Where's even your skill in doctoring? Why, why are you fucking with shit? You have a skill of five. He wasn't getting that organic cut. Means and, and, and if you want to do mine, you might say this next part. I do not know for first time. Oh, oh, is that today? Yeah. Oh, okay. National Butcher Day. I'll finish the cake today this time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't touched it. Good. The frosting's gonna be balling. Okay. Ooh. 
little wine dot chocolate. Very demure. Yeah, that wine shit was good. Okay. From the farmer's market? The one in PC? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that dude did a good job in selling it though. Oh, he was such a he was a demure man. He was very classy. Yeah. I like him. Class so and service. Uh huh. <laughs> so true, bestie. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Did you just friend zone me? No. What's my title? Sorry, babe. There you go, baby. Student needs Luciferium? So fucking stupid. I hate that shit. Is that a fucking devil? A glint scale? Avaricious. He's a dragon. That's insane. There's so many corpses now. There's corpses all over the fucking place, dude. I think he was the only person that lived. Fucking Ruba. Huba. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Divorced by Lou, recreation, starved. Dude. Yeah. Okay, but you know what? You can be upset about that. Can we install? Is that not how that works? Excuse me? Like, we have a lung. So, why... Okay, maybe now. So, why can I not install the lung? Hold on. Let me... How how to repair damaged or destroyed organs removed? Okay. Hold up. Are you fucking kidding me? I need mortars first. You're joking. Why the hell do we need mortars to know how to make fucking trenches? That's 2,000. I guess we're doing drug production. Ah, oh, fuck, no. No, that's wrong. 
open turrets first. That's so fucking stupid. Are you kidding? Fucking mortars to figure out how to dig a goddamn hole in the ground? Are you serious? Fuck off. Stupidest shit ever. Why would you need to figure out artillery before you do trenches? So get the fuck out of here. I already have your fucking lung. I, I really, I, I'll be honest with you, I really don't get this. So I harvested a lung. Because Lou's left lung is destroyed, so I made sure to, uh... So I made sure... Leathery Stranger, what the hell? job hit Lou. Get this fucking food. So dumb. Left thumb shot off. Lou is gonna be a fucking cyborg. It's gonna end up replacing Link all of her fucking body. Now his right lung is destroyed. How much does it take to craft? Okay, so that's how we... Oh, I don't really give a fuck, dude. You're, you're getting released anyway, man. What are you doing? Radio talking. Is he just chit-chatting with somebody? Rice plant died from rotting. Make these into more cotton plants, these into more heel root. Then these can be uh, cotton. A 
Lester, what's up with you? Rebuffed by Hannah, hungry, darkness, someone's harvest, denied joining, ratty apparel, soaking wet, rot stink lingering. Oh my god, dude, there's so many corpses. <laughs> so many fucking corpses. So what is even his whole bio? Like, what, what's going on with him? Unknown. Unknown. Body Mastery. Interesting. Interesting. Also, we really need some fucking steel, man. Hannah, would you be a deer? Thank you. Oh, is this where they start, like, actually setting it up? hit send him back their dude died Jensen just heal him We're done. Age 13. Got his absolute shit stomped. <coughs> nice. So now we have the... What? Wait, 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 what? Oh, hell yeah, baby. Easy peasy. This dude's trying to get out. Let him be. Let him be. How much money do we have? Somewhat poor. I really wish, like... Because it's a stock room, like, who the fuck cares if it looks nice? I really wish it would tell you the total value of how much you actually had in this. Like, I think, I mean, what, this is worth almost 7,000 silver. This is worth almost 5. This is worth 4. Nearly 3,000. Like... This whole colony could probably fetch me a pretty penny. I see him and he will join your colony. He's a 14-year-old troop child. He says that three turrets and one settler defend the site and there may be an unknown threat. Yeah, no.
Look like the amount of people with tethered apparel is going down, which is nice. Fantastic. Got some people to cook for us as well. Great. Got a lot of people with their old shirts, and so next time I think we'll just go and we'll sell all of that shit and get rid of it. However, gun turrets are now a thing. But Hannah's gonna need to smelt a lot of slag. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, did all of them? What? No, there we go. Yep, they're just gonna die. <laughs> awesome. Nice three components, sick. The Royal Tribute Collector. should do this. We have given their tribute. Nice. Got a party. Party's been called off. Damn it. Clean this shit up. I'm honestly surprised. I don't think I've ever run out of steel before. I technically think she's also the only colonist, quote unquote, who's actually died. Compared to everybody else, uh, the only reason we euthanized her was because, um... She, uh... She legitimately just would not live if I uh, didn't get to drug production a lot sooner. Does suck that each piece of slag there was only like twenty five pieces of uh whatever the fuck. A cannon.
Oh, okay, cool. The heart's liver. Or, the hair's liver, not the heart's liver. Whoops. Um, where are we? So we got prosthetics. Are we not researching drugs? Excuse me? I... Th I th thought we had selected that. Am I wrong? But look at that, baby. We are back. We are back to having rice, baby. Let's go. Damn, haygrass takes a fucking long time to grow. I also got Remnant 2 from uh, Humble Bundle, actually. And I really want to play that. I played Remnant 1, and I wasn't, like, a huge fan of it. I just personally... It just wasn't my thing, to be honest. Um, uh, my friend and I, I think, beat it on... I think we beat it on stream on my old channel. Uh... But I remember us getting to the end game and we were just kind of like, eh, it's whatever. I remember us also replaying some of the bits, but we just didn't get lucky enough to get any of the other bosses. Which was kind of tragic for us. But... I, I was always at least kind of interested in the game. But I'm glad I didn't have to spend 60 fucking dollars on it. I think that's the uh, that's the only reason I got it. And then I got some other... Uh, some other cool stuff with it too. Is, so... Like I got a game called Jack Move. Never heard of it before. But I was like, you know what? You know what? Awesome. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a try. And I'm actually pretty happy that I did it. Actually, we can make this area into the barn. So... Hey. Literally nothing else. A long night. Jesus. Between a season to several years? Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Fuck my life. Why do I not have sun lamps? You're kidding. I can't even put this anywhere. Shit. Oh my god, dude.
This sucks ass. This must be an insanely rare thing. Like, I'm so glad, you know, that I don't have, like, a ticking time clock with all these prosthetic things because Lou, you know, like, thank God Marco fucking fixed her uh, cancer. But, holy shit. The amount of, like, just things she needs done to her is insane to me. Lester, why the fuck, dude? Whoa. He got beaten the fuck? Save him? Lester, dude, why? Oh, you know what? Okay, you... <laughs> I'll, I'll give you this one, dude. You deserve to definitely fucking beat the fuck out of him. And you beat the fuck out of him with a peg leg. So, like, eh. All right. Called him a raider. I mean, shit, I would be fucking pissed off, too. Nice. I always send more people than I need, but that's really just to, like... It's just to ensure that no one else is really going to get hurt or anything like that. You know, the more bullets, the higher the chance, right? Especially when, you know, I have Tony who has a skill of 15 in it. Oh, wow. But if he d so if he doesn't shoot, then he just loses the experience? Oh... That's actually really interesting. I didn't... Is that new how that works? It was a bioweapon. Okay, that's actually kind of a badass start. I think once we do this, we should upgrade to the uh, high-tech research bench. The only problem is our steel. Actually, could you just do this last one real quick? I know I really need the gun turrets, but to be totally honest with you, like, I just don't have any fucking steel. So I'm really hoping, I'm really, really hoping that we get into a, uh, what do you call it? Um, fuck, a bulk trigger. But let's go for that penicillin, which, how do you even make penicillin?
Oh wow. Drug lab. It's even bigger. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, this room needs a fucking revamp. Hey, what's up, Demi Knight? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? It's kind of chilling, vibing. <sighs> Not a problem, dude. We're having a pretty good time in the room world here. Building up some shit. Let's build another wall lamp over here as well. Just to make sure that all of the lighting is still good um let's put this bad boy into here because i need the space wild woman is she good at anything you've been sitting here thinking about if you hate your life enough to start a new colony or not oh dude i honestly starting new colonies i think is my favorite thing but once you get a colony, it, it's always really tragic because once you get a good colony going and then uh, you just start getting absolutely smashed, it sucks. It's the worst feeling in the world. But when you start a new one and you get to like here or further or whatever, it's like, damn, this is awesome. It just feels so good to finally have something that's like stable and expandable. So you don't have to worry about it as much. Dude, I... I don't see the point of having this. I really don't. It's gonna get rid of it. Let me go ahead and put those two there. Build some more chairs. Uh, we're getting rid of this anyway, so I might, the E and I C, dude, the E and I C take so much power though. Like, it'd be, I would love to get the buff, but it's like 5,000 watts or something. How much, how much power does it require? Like, it is insane how much power the fucking, this thing needs to just function. Where, where is it? Is it not? Is it with furniture? Extra furniture? No. What? Where's the ENIC? Damn it. Miscellaneous? There it is. It requires 5,000 watts. Which I have the power for. But I would really rather not. Like, thank God for geothermal and all these uh, water mills, but... I do not know if... Uh, if these dudes are, or like, if that's even worth it. Awesome. What do you have? Oh, dude, I love this. I love these armors. They just look so f they look so dope. They're just so insanely expensive and I have no silver. Why do I not have any silver? Where's my silver? Did someone I swear to god, I thought I had silver. I mined an entire thing of silver. Where is it? You 
know what, dude? Whatever. Whatever, man. Is what it is. That sucks. But I don't know, man. I definitely think you should start a new colony of Rimworld. Oh, Black Fair Ferret, nice. I'm trying to get one of those. This long night thing is gonna suck. How long has it been? 3.9 days. That's fine. But once we get the... Oh, that's right. The semiconductor... Stuff. So, furniture. Floodlight. Sun lamp. If I put a sun lamp in like the middle of these, actually, hold on. It's not going to affect the growth, is it? Discord chat telling you the same thing. Yeah, I could see why. I could see why. Honestly, I think it's just whatever you want to spend the time on. I think the problem with Wormworld is that if you start it, you don't really ever want to stop it. Listen, it's a lamp. Died from rotting. Is nobody harvesting this shit? Yo. Why are we planting rice? But uh Are you are you streaming through Silent Hill? on your own channel. Nice. Midnight release stream. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Nice. But now, let's see if we can... Let's go. You took a vacation Saturday? Oh, dude, that's awesome. I, it, it, it's, uh, is it the first game or the second? I can't remember. It's the second one? Oh. <laughs> I'll be totally honest with you. I, I don't think I've ever played any of them. I have never played, uh, any of the, of the Silent Hill games. But, I don't know. I really hope it's good. I really hope that they don't uh, fuck the whole thing up. But, she got a new lung in, and I think eventually we're going to give her a new ear and a new thumb. Or a new hand, I guess. Once we actually get a, a way better thing. But... Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then just start building a uh, new one. I do have enough... Would that be cheaper? It would be. So let's do it in uranium, because I have so much uranium. This would cover the door, so I need to put it over here. I'm gonna just reinstall these. But I've always been kind of interested in those games. I just never really had the 
I don't even I don't even know if I would say like the desire to play it or whatever, but I just haven't wanted to, I guess. They've always been super interesting, but I think I've always liked them as a concept more so than me actually playing them. For me personally, at least. Just like the whole story aspect of like, hey, this is, you know, mental illness and shit. Horror games are your thing? Are, are your thing? Oh no, horror games are great. I'm just a big fat baby. The, the one game that I have played on stream uh like several times and i used to do it almost like once a year was alien isolation i don't know why but that game doesn't f like really freak me out that much but uh i love alien isolation that game is so fucking good i just don't like the ending to it that much or at least like the final stretch of the game you definitely should dude you definitely should I, I don't think I've seen... Oh, shit. I don't think I've seen very much of, uh, like, Man of Medan, or however you say it, but I'm sure it's... It, I'm sure it would be a really interesting thing to play. I I think I have a few games that I got through, like, the Epic Game Store and stuff like that. I um, There was some horror game I had gotten. Let me take a quick look. Actually... Um, but it was like, I think it was some horror game that you actually needed to be super quiet for. I just can't remember what it was called. Wait, hold on. What happened? Excuse, excuse me? Yaks join? Let's go. Distress signal. Hey, hey, Hannah. Go and... No, not the steel slag. Whatever, she'll figure it out. Um... What, what was that game I was talking about? Where is it? I'll be totally honest with you. I think legitimately the only reason I still have Epic is because of how many free games they give out. And a lot of them are actually pretty good. Darkwood is a game I would really like to stream. I think Darkwood would, would be a cool... ...stream. Uh... Layers of Fear 2... Close to the Sun, I think, is also a horror game. Canarium. Alan Wake would be a really cool stream, too. I thought I had... I think, like, the... The front, like, quote-unquote front cover image is of a woman, like, covering her mouth. Hiding from something. But I can't remember what the game was called. Oh, Mad Obscure. There we go. Made Obscure. S-K-E-R. I think that's the one where, like, it actually takes your mic and, uh... And, uh, actually listens to you. So you have to, uh, legitimately be quiet. Growth that. 
Let's do the hospital bit, though. Get some better hospitals in there. Let's reinstall these over here. But I'm assuming you're like primarily just a, a horror streamer. Yeah, I, uh, I really only play modded, modded room world. Okay, it's a dog. I have to, I have to save it. But, um. Yeah, no. Mod I think modded room world is just the way to go. Like vanilla is great, but just all the extra stuff that, uh, like vanilla expanded ads and like all the other stuff is just—it's too good to pass up, in my opinion. How long does the dog actually have to live? Seventeen hours. It's fine. Also, wait. What a minute. Light modded. I have all these mods. Oh, your variety? Okay, nice. Nice. What's your, what's your, like, do you just go through, like, single-player games and just kind of rotate through those? Or do you, like, do you have a, that's light modded? Jesus Christ. But do you have a, or do you have, like, a game that you typically stream and then, like, on other uh, certain days you, you do something else? is Where the hell Oh, it's right in front of my base. How much uranium do I even have? Oh, I have pl <laughs> I have plenty. Also, I don't think I really need operating tables now that I have hospital beds. Uh, Rumors has always been your main game, but I also do retro game stream once a year. I sit and play all of Mega Man Legends 1 and 2 back-to-back -back live. Okay. Never get to stream as much as I used to or want to. Okay. Nice. What? No! Tame it. Support men's mental health. Nice. Is there like a charity that you that you specifically kind of follow? 
or uh, or specifically do. Also, yeah, no, I get the I get the the real job thing. I I always have wanted to stream more and really kind of get deep into it. It's just it's such a huge struggle for me. Uh, mostly because my like. Okay, how hot is it in this area? Why is it so hot? Let's start. I'll finish my thought here in a second. Give me one minute. Let's get some passive coolers. That'd be in temperature. Um. This is fine. turn this back um i think for me it's just it, it, it's just a lot of like my shift starts at two and i have dogs so typically like i'll get up pretty early in the morning uh take my dogs out uh make my girlfriend lunch and then uh start streaming at like 11 a.m my time and then i typically only stream till like 1 p.m because i want that 30 30 40 minutes to like do some household chores and stuff like that and get that all done uh but i really really wish my my schedule was uh completely different because i would love to stream from like 5 p.m to 9 or something and just do four hour streams but saint jude's my my only thing about charities is that uh Finding a good charity, I think, is just hard. I think just St. Jude's is pretty reputable, reputable, though. You work 12-hour shifts? Dude, that sucks. I remember when I uh, used to work, like, 13, 14-hour shifts. by Mostly by choice, though. Not, like, required. Just to get shit done. But it sucked. Is this good? Infinite Decem Reactor? What does that even mean? I guess we'll do it and we'll just find out what it does. Okay, nice, but it's finally it's finally starting to cool down a little bit here. 67. Okay. It'll produce a deep chem for me. What is deep chem? I, I probably couldn't even look that up. Is like deep chem really good or... Oh, there's more uranium. There's more uranium down here. What the hell? Um, give me one second. What is Deep Ken Rimworld? Uh, it's a type of chem fuel. Oh, okay.
Okay. I guess I can have some chemfuel stuff now for free. We will convert them while they're here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What blew up? The fucking sun lamp. Oh my god. Luxembourg <laughs> is getting fucked up by a rat. And we got some hay. Let's go. Thank god our uh, yaks are here, though. But I'm really hoping that... Ah, oh, damn, it sucks. Um... Put walls around your slums to keep them safe in the... Oh, yeah, I could do that. I should I should have made waterproof. Yeah. Let's, uh... Would columns not be bigger? Or bigger. Better. It does kind of suck, though, that it gets rid of the uh, major break risk. Who? Lou? Why? Minor pain. Failed to convert wool. Soaking wet. Ratty apparel. Uh, whatever. And then let's build a little roof. Since this is the one that keeps blowing up. There we go. It should be good. Should be. Dude, she is going to die. <laughs> this goes over to clean up the blood. That's awesome. That is so much uranium. So I'll have a ton of baby food. We got some milk. Got some fine meals. Got some regular meals. But let's go ahead and hunt some more stuff. A war merchant. I don't really want. I want a bulk merchant so I can purchase steel. Because I don't really want to go strip mining right now. But I do have a billion and two metal slags. Actually, we have all the steel here, so why is Tony not building these? No, I don't want to... Oh, okay. Need a research kit capable of analysis. Flag pants, nice. Let's uh, let's do that though. Let's finish building up this hospital. Journey to the abandoned laboratory. Oh no. Well, time to finish it off. I'm missing components. Uh, is the smelter where I... Where do I make... I think it's actually here, the lathe.
Oh, you need a skill of 10? Oh, hell. You know what? Lou, go and talk to them. Let's see if they have components. I do not have somebody that's good enough at crafting for that. Um, no component? Oh, Jesus. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. I really want to see if I can find an artist to make it like a burger eating a burger and just make it animated. I think that'd be really funny. You're kidding, this guy doesn't have any components. Oh my god. That sucks. I know he is a weapon dealer, but I was really hoping. 38%. Alright, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. See you another time. It's all this poo-poo doo-doo clothes. What? Still fetch me a Fetches me a pretty penny, too. Baby became a child. Let's go. Remain a colonist, though. Yeah, there, there goes Luxembourg. High Baroness. Wow. Wait, hold on, what do they... Hannah. What do yaks eat? Vegetable seeds, life plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, kibble. Oh shit. Um. Kibble. Don't you make kibble at the... Where do you make kibble? God damn it. Where is it? I thought you made kibble at the... Oh, do you make kibble at the butcher's table? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, uh... Let's not mess that up again. Who is she bonded to? Anna, could you? Lou. I think making kibble would be a better priority for right now. I'm really hoping that they make kibble here pretty soon. We 
Gabby. Lou, go and talk to... Talk to them. Medicine. Okay. Iced coffee. Mechanoid. Components. 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 You don't have shit. Oh my god, dude. Why is it so hard to get components, bro? Okay, laser sword is pretty sweet. A battle rifle. And then we got a wool button-down shirt. Nice. Too heavy. She doesn't have anything, though. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we have- now we have kibble. Anna, could you... Could you prioritize... Handling? Make sure that that shit gets done, so they don't die. No, do not- Why are you trying to tame the muffler? No. No. Stop trying to tame the muffler. Why can it not force her to feed? I am so confused. I why why can I not force her to feed the animals? There we go. Jensen. So what are you? Look at Tony. Going ham. Seventeen percent. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, hopefully now they have, like, enough space, enough food. Okay, maybe a genetic supplier would have... Oh, they have components. Let's fucking go. But I, I do have silver. Oh, is it because this isn't... Is that why? I just want to reinstall. Okay, hold on. What is this research kit shit? I don't want to analyze anything. Okay, now, Lou, try it. There we go. Okay. So, I want all of his components. I'm willing to sell all of my Nutramine. I'm not really planning on building my own, like, drug shit, so I don't really care. Um, but, let's go ahead and do it. So hospital beds are done. What does the security door do? Shields. Need mechanator colonists. Okay. Fabrication four thousand. Jesus. So I need mortars now. So let's go ahead and do mortars. And then from there, we'll get into trench warfare. I do, I've been saying we're going to build defenses for like ever now, and we have not touched a single thing. Tony, would you please... Does this not have the ability to store components? Um, maybe I did mess this up.
Okay. We don't have very much food. 41, kind of low for me. But, finally, we have, uh, we have the yaks. We're able to start our farm. So, pretty big wins. We have a new storage area, a barn, kind of, and... It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going good. I think next, uh, we're gonna start building out. And by out, I mean, for the most part, build some defenses on the outskirts and whatnot. Uh, the production room is kind of nicely cleaned up a little bit. A little bit better organized. A little bit more, you know, just overall a lot of space has been saved we've got some uh, kibble still going as well got a good amount of yak milk Do we have any other yaks in the... Medium-sized pen. Okay. So now, I don't really think we necessarily need to make kibble, but it probably wouldn't hurt to have. Um, I did not realize how much land you needed to make sure that everything was going to be okay that is so many oh my lord look at that oh nice shot Well, it's uh it's rather unfortunate, but a lot of people got hurt, but I think we are a okay, just a lot of burns and and whatnot, some basic stuff, nothing really too too bad. But we do have all of our stuff. And then we just need even more steel. So, Hannah, if you could... Just keep smelting. So that way we can build all of our intravenous drips. Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it'll be 25 medicine. But this way, it'll help out a lot with people. So I am fine with making this investment. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. We have a decent hospital that's somewhat rich. Um, but I, I, I am thinking about getting rid of these operating tables. I just do not see what the point of them is. But his manipulation is... 115% because he's enhanced. Also, do I have... 
Actually, Jensen, what are your skills? You have a two inch. No, I'm going to keep you that way. On the floor, Hannah can. Lou. Lou has actually gotten a lot better. I think Lou should have the PDW now. Instead of a pistol. On the floor, baby. You should have a heavy revolver. Oh my god. Jensen. Tend to the dog. Oh lord. That would have been real fucking bad. The master is Hannah. Actually, have her follow... Yeah, have the dog follow her around as a protector. As a protector. Conversion. Nice, we got him... Uh... He is good, so Lou, go ahead and begin converting. He is going to be a lot harder. But he's at 60% now. And people just kind of keep going. Oh, Bulk's good trader. Lou, if you could, please. Cannot hear properly. So we have a yak who is pregnant. Um... Not willing to sell it. Fine dessert. Packaged survival meal. Could be good. Processed meat. Swan egg. Gila monster. Egg. We could get a lot more components. Might as well go ahead and sell these. I'll keep the mechanoid egg. Uh, fire pump shell. Don't have a, a mortar for it anyway. It's fine. Got a ton of wood. Uh, but let's go ahead and sell all these doo doo poo poo tunics and whatever. Get rid of that. Black pants, sure. Always forget that he will never do hauling. But nice. I wonder, is he f okay more now? Just because of the uh, of the uh, drip.
put all the little band-aids on them. How, how cute. are you doing? I thought this pen was producing more than it was being eaten. Like, we also have kibble. So what is... How did a rhino get in here? Oh, a rhino just jumped over the fence. Okay. I am so genuinely confused. Why, why are they not getting fed? Isn't... Tame, train, harvest resources from slaughter animals. So what... It, like, is she just not doing anything? I don't understand. I, I really don't. I'm just so utterly confused. Like, why is Hannah not feeding the animals? They only feed them when they go down. So why is it I I genuinely just do not I really don't. I do not get it. We have kibble like there are people that are, you know, supposed to handle so why are they not getting fed
I guess that's like the only thing I don't understand right now. So when is that quest going to be done? 15 days. Shuttle arrives in five and a half. I guess I'll just leave them in there. Oh, Tony and Kindness formed the bond. Nice. Yo, what? We should probably build a vent. Shamoy, the boar, will hunt. Deconstruct all of those. Stroke? Who? Oh, oh, it's hot as fuck. Go ahead and build that up. Do it just so that we have... Oh no, this I want to do forever. The main kibble I want to do until I have... Three hundred. So that way there's an actual limit.
the temperature. No, they should be fine. I mean, even with two passive coolers, like, it's still super hot. Marcos is going to be the real struggle because he's so far away. Okay, but everyone else is kind of chilled. Also, can I dictate what kibble is made out of? back to being malnutritioned yes why aren't my animals being fed rimworld Yeah, I I don't know. I really I really don't. I like I I changed it so that her handling is number 1. I'll do that and you know, we'll we'll see. I mean, the nutrition growth is supposed to be higher than the other thing. It's just um I don't know. And I can't make her feed. So... Do I just need to, like, assign more areas so that they don't need to be given kibble? So we have gone through two seasons of it just being constant night.
Oh my god. Left ear. God fucking damn it. Now I gotta build more prosthetic ears. Uranium. Excuse me. Wait. Uh, am I not supposed to store kibble there? Am I supposed to store it here? Let's give this a try. Was that it? Rid of these, just leave this whole thing.
I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Literal meds. finish this. Why is Lou freaking out? The Mushahid. <laughs> There's so many frigates. So he... Which year? Left year? So then what is this hearing? 75%? Can we just make a regular prosthetic ear?
And Lou has what? Like terrible hearing? 75%. God, Lou is so unhappy. To be fair, she's in a lot of pain from all of her injuries. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Salt the nose. Mortars are almost done. Then we got trenches. But we're getting there. Let's go ahead and just start building some turrets. Let's build one. Here, 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 there, and then like one over here. I do not think we have that much steel. I don't think we have any steel, actually. Great. We got to complete that quest. So where does this... So where do I stick this thing, though? Oh. I need a radio. Where is that? Radio terminal, here we go. What the fuck? Where 
we're getting even more power. These geothermals are just no longer enough. That should be good. We're gonna go through like four years of this long night shit. Honest idol. I wonder what Baby even wants to do. Shuttle crash. Marco. Actually, she has like 20 hours to live. She's fine. Storyteller's kin. No. No. Please tell me it's just the one. Tony. Thank you. Recreation starved.
Okay, this is starting to fall apart just a little bit. Let's go ahead and start shutting these off. We actually need them. Oh, she joined. Uh, cool. Don't eat her. Uh, we are going to have to build her a bedroom. Alright though, but I think we got a very, very good start here. Um, a couple of unfortunate things have happened, but for the most part, we are pretty good. Like, we are... It's a pretty stable colony, uh, just food supply has been kind of the, the main struggle, but we have a pretty steady supply of herbal meds, so we're never really going to ever run out. And uh, we now finally have some uh, decent cotton coming in, so we can just constantly make clothes, and with how much leather and stuff we have like we're good uh our real only struggle now is honestly gonna be steel but i think next time we're gonna start uh building because you know we're so close we're so close to having mortars um next time we're gonna build up our mortars or not build mortars but we're gonna have our mortars and then we're gonna have our trenches and i think next um i can't remember this is hmm. Hmm. excuse me if this is necessarily from a uh, or rather um if this is an ancient evil or not but i think building a few trenches over here and stuff like that to just kind of set everybody up and then just have like somebody deconstruct the entire thing would be a really really good idea and seeing what we can maybe gather out of this there might be some colonists that need to get rescued there might be some things we need to fight it could be an entire giant insect swarm i mean who knows but i definitely do think that if we open it i will be making a save just in case and just go you know what probably not worth the commitment but anyway thanks for watching thanks for hanging out hope you guys had a good time i certainly did and i will see you guys another time let me just save here real quick. Anyways, later.